Athena, and welcome. I have reached the top of my hike, and I'm at the Big Rock again. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful view on this beautiful day, and uh, catch me if you can. <laughs> Well, it looks like you caught me. Here I am. So now what? <laughs> the joke of this shirt is that I'm slow moving up the mountain. I am not, you know, a, a fast hiker going all the way up this mountain. So this is amuses me. I have to amuse myself. Um, especially if you see the athletes that come running up apparently effortlessly <laughs> and pass me by. I don't care. I'm just happy to be hiking and able to move up, really. But uh, since you caught me, I'm going to go ahead and catch some a little sun. Uh, I was wearing this to protect my skin because it's taken a beating. You know, this high up, I'm at least 8,000 feet above elevation or uh, above sea level and the sun is intense there's less atmosphere between me and the sun and it can be very intense so my skin's taking a beating but I want to get a little bit of vitamin D while we're talking together and share a little bit of time here and uh, isn't this gorgeous though no chemtrails today thank you for not dropping that on us today. Um, so, you know, as I was hiking up, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. It's like summer. It's very hot out, um, no clouds in the sky, and it feels like summer, though when I look around, I'm not seeing as much summer. I'm seeing the colors and the bare, uh, mared, skata or shite, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so I'm in a bear territory here where it's not, it's not unlikely to see a bear at a distance at times. And so right now is their pre-hibernation period where they're stocking up on fruits and food and calories as much as they can on a daily basis before they go into hibernation. Oh, around end of October, beginning of November, thereabouts, depending. So, so yes, I have to be careful for that too. But, um, you know, I... There's a couple things. I love summer and spring. I love green and I love to look around and see green everywhere. So when I start to see um, the colors change, you know, it's not that it's not pretty and I see that it's pretty, but it's not my favorite. I'm a spring summer girl and this was reminding me, this is a time of transition, you know, as we step more into autumn, autumn equinox uh, is next week, and summer fades away, you know, the light, the sun in the sky shifts, the angle of where the sky sits in the northern hemisphere, the colors change around us, the nighttime comes earlier than it was before. Out here in the mountains it comes, you know, really quickly, and uh, you know, this affects our emotional state. There's every season brings a change and a transition uh, for all of us. The colors affect us. The light, uh, the color of the light, the amount of light that occurs in the daytime, and uh, the temperature. So many things in our external environment affect us in in various ways also you know in life we have different seasons and many transition one season i was thinking about is the season of going within and building a shell of protection uh, while i've been healing from trauma and uh, let's face it, a serious, serious illness is, is trauma. It's trauma to the physical body, the mental, spiritual, emotional, uh, etheric. It, it's trauma in many ways. And then, you know, 
we shift out of that some and we can emerge healthier and feeling restless and wanting to get out more and that's a new season and a part of our self dies in order for our rebirth of a newer self you know as we move along life we have parts of ourself that end uh, that die off, the chapters closed of who we are or who we were at that particular time. And um, there can be a sense of exhilaration, exhilaration, excitement, sadness, grief, confusion, and um, unsettledness when a part of us, when the season changes, when we emerge from this self into a newer self. And that's okay. I want to ask you if you're going through this right now. Not necessarily because of the seasonal change, but that certainly can prompt an internal change within us. Or we notice that there are stirrings or that we're closing ourselves in more because we need you know, a cave, a layer of self-protection from the world so we can heal some. So where are you at right now? I am really curious what's going on with you and if you agree that you go through different changes, well, with the seasons, but that you've been noticing at times when your old self is dying off. Now, when I say your old self, I mean a part of yourself, right? And that a new one is emerging and it's like, you know, any change causes both excitement and fear and anxiety and confusion. It can be a positive change, but change in and of itself for many people causes a lot of discomfort and anxiety, even if it's change for the better. So I wanted to share that today. Um, and I hope you are enjoying this, your season wherever you are in the world. And I am enjoying this weather and the green. Again, I love being surrounded by green. Green is one of my top colors that I love to see around me. And uh, I seek places where it's warm and green. <laughs> That's my favorite. But I can see beauty in every season. I just prefer warm and green. What about you? Let me know what you prefer. So that's about it today. I don't want to talk too long because I'm not sure if you like the longer videos. Let me know if you do. I can talk a long, long time. <laughs> but I want to make this uh, manageable for you as well and because I respect your time and I appreciate the time you take to visit and catch up. And I really enjoy you being on my journey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Until next time.